on a new site what's up my people i'm gonna try to get a bunch of this uh footage for you but i don't know if i can today i can obviously because i'm the only one here putting a new sore lateral a new sore lateral in for the boot barn a brand new boot barn going in the back of this building back at home depot is a big complex here uh we got to go dig down to the main about 11 cut it with a y pipe 45 it and come back in i just saw cut the black top got all my safety here we're going to close this road down like i said i'm going to try to film as much as i can for you guys uh on bits and pieces basically what we got here is we're going in here and we're going to put a new set of bathrooms in here's our eight inch y everything's got to be scheduled that's going to be the main down in there i'm going to build a y setup go down cut the main with it live set all this in and then reduce it to a six here's all my schedule 26 six inch right here then we go into the building at the footing and put this set up i'll show you on the print as soon as i get it uh i got some sketches on my phone we got to do a, a clean out setup here that goes into the building reduce it to a four inch schedule 40. this is six inch sdr 26 going to eight inch all right on my phone here is what we're doing i had that just i drew that up with my uh I got the Samsung Note, so I could do that. But that's what we're doing. We're coming out that building and going into the main. I'll show you. Uh, basically, we're going to be diving down like that once we get under this waterline. Because there's a huge 12-inch main waterline we have to sneak under. Have to have 18 inches of clearance. This is going into the building. The clean-out setup, that's the building there. And the clean-out's there. It goes from 6 to 4. Uh, and this is the Y setup that... We have to go down to the main so we're going to cut the main we're going to cut the main here and here put in this y setup with some repair couplings and then come off with the y and then shoot right up under that water line all right got my uh cut out for my trench box it's going to go down in this is really tricky everything is laid out i got power everywhere you see i got gas i got water this blue one right here is our 12 inch main, which will be about four foot down. We gotta be 18 inches below that, but then we gotta dive down to 11 into the bottoms. Um, got electric coming across here, which we, we're only staying in this area, we're good. But I got my box cocked at an angle because I laid everything out with an instrument for a 45 to come off the building because uh, this isn't square, obviously square with the building. So you gotta play that so you don't if everything fits in your trench you know here's your line here here's your line here you, that's my 45 this orange one coming across i laid it all out so it's gonna fit in this trench don't start uh trenching before you get that because you'd be in deep trouble at that point we got our one a's here two road plates four by eight aluminum build a box trench box i put it together laid it right out here so that everything is going to work and this i had a saw cut this to get it that i wasn't accounting for the eight inches and to be cocked i want to be enough so i want to be able to cock this in here so this is my connection area here 45 out i'll still be in the box come straight up into this which will be down 11 feet and we got to come up to there will be six foot below that water line there so there's only gonna be a four foot 45 coming up and then shoot into the building and then it will step up the four foot here all the way 54 inches to the bottom of the pipe actually and make our connection inside that's the play that's for monday got the vac truck coming don't want to miss it don't click off the video don't skip So what I'm doing is making my pieces. I made them 13 inches. So this is into here. Make the other one. It'll be sticking in out over here. Then that will measure from here to there will be my cut on the mean down below. Then this new piece goes in with these repair fittings. So I made it so this will be right tight like that. When I break the sore open, boop, just set that in there like that. To cut this and keep it straight, I cut a little piece off. So here's my piece on, on the other pipe when I had to true it up. I left a piece like that, then that will give you a nice ring for a nice line to 
cut your 13. All right, that gives a nice bevel. All right, they say don't move that seal. So we stayed off the seal with the loop, but she'll go in easy with that bevel. There she is. Nice and nice. So that is my cutout right here. Green to green is the cutout down in the sewer main. Once we cut that out, my repair coupling, because I laid this out, so my repair coupling will be here. And these will, I'll slip these on both sides after I measure this, cut it. Then all I gotta do is go down to the main and theoretically shoot this over four inches. Boom, done. Done, done, done. Super fast, because we're going live with that main. We're not shutting the sewer down. We're not gonna bag it or anything. We're just gonna do it live. So my cut on the green will be 35 inches. We'll go 35 and a quarter, uh, you know, or just 35 and then the blade will do it, do, the, do its job. Cut it with this blade, it cuts right through there pretty dang quick. Uh, you could use it down in the hole if you got the room, you could use a demo saw or whatever. I'll probably down down the main, I'll use the demo saw because I'll cut down almost all the way through, then finish it off if I don't go through it. We'll, we'll see how, uh, much room we got down there come monday back on site all safety off for monday got fencing got road closed signs do not enter signs construction restricted area signs everything's caution taped and all the way around the perimeter both sides got the signs on the fencing and uh got that so if anybody comes out of alleys once i have this trench everything should be pretty good Here's our excavation again. Just uh, put a call and email into the trench box company. Really want to shrink this down to an eight foot panel instead of a 10. 10 is really getting com too comfortable with this water line. Even though I'll have a saw cut there, my box should be back here. Then I could bench the dirt back if I have to. Um, really wish uh, after we laid it out, I wish we went with an eight by eight. They didn't have it in stock, but there might be something back by Monday. Call 7 in the morning. Oh yeah, here's my box. I didn't even show you guys this, so I did a story on it of us building it. To build the box, aluminum works pretty slick, so this is going to go down in the hole. Then I got some shoring plates right there that will come down in here, and I could shore it to my doghouse opening right here where that pipe is going to come on out and snake out. So basically, it's right here where this orange is here is my connection there's my 45 coming i'll have those road plates right here facing down and my doghouse coming out here and then the water line is right there but on this corner the water line you know it's right here now who's to say this isn't off a foot on both sides and it's a 12 inch main so we don't want to flirt with that and open this dirt and then you know we just don't want to flirt with it that's all all right getting the black top up broke up good four inches here had to go through with the demo, demo saw because my road saw, I didn't, I didn't have the blade all the way down. I had it about four. Now I get it down to the arbor, it's five and a half and it's working out. blacktop really gets crappy as you see it just blows apart the other stuff was coming up nice but uh ain't a big deal we'll just scoop it out put it in our pile easier to load out a little more messy but i'm gonna break it up before i load it out anyways we went four foot with the trench just because we didn't know where we were coming up with that 45 there's too many angles to mess around with. If I have to put the pipe from one side to the other, because we're going, coming in at an angle on the building too. So it's just too many unknowns. If it was a straight shot, we would have went with a, just a two foot uh, run. You know what I mean? With this bucket, but. All right, there's our pile of blacktop. I'm gonna load that out tomorrow. On a Sunday, this thing will be all ready. 
this is where we're going down and that this from this point here's our water line right here and it's going to slope down to the 11 foot down there into the main it'll taper up this will only be four foot the rest of the way which ain't bad like i said i went wider just because we didn't know what we were going to get into here with angles even though they have it marked out we don't know and then if this is too tight and we can't get it to go we're in trouble and then uh you see the building isn't square either with the whole system so from the topographical i ran this square because this sewer line is these green marks and this makes a 90 that would make our 45 right in here so theoretically on paper it works but we'll see again the only thing i don't like is this water main right here being so close to this i'd like to hopefully they'll have a box we could be back in here and then i could bench this down a little bit Site got a dusting last night. Just got in a little tiffy with the salter guys. Part of the business. All right. Gonna. There's my water line. Just remarked that. Blew some snow off. Just putting some marks up here where my cut is, so I can see it easily. When I go to dig over there. Obviously, I'll be able to see it, but uh, in case dirt gets on there, whatever. All right, Meek Meek just showed up. We're going to get this thing down all the way. Hopefully, the dirt stays the way it is. That would be awesome. This is all fill, obviously, this site, you know, and obviously, this infrastructure was in. But let's just hope it's not mucky stuff and it stays like this. Then the back truck will back it up. We're gonna open that manhole, make sure our measurements are good, and get this thing down. Uh-oh, there's shale. That's all broke up shale, though. It looks like they backfilled with rock, which I'll be okay with that as long as it all comes up. They said there's rock in this area. That would be a nightmare if we couldn't get under that water line. Because this is all broke up shale. Like, they broke it up to, uh, Get the infrastructure and in. i hope not man that would slot stop our project yeah that's shale they wouldn't import that they would not import that stuff Gone. 
until the next stage. mark just about now we're just cleaning up the edges get this box in then it's safe to get down in and with the back truck we'll be able to lower the box right where we need to be Spend the last couple of feet with the back truck and that should be no issues it's all sand at the bottom for bedding so should be no issues with the back truck he could probably do it dry which is nice We're just gonna pull back where this water line is just a bit. And then I can uh, don't let the dirt go down because that dog house is open in this area. We may have to take that corner off right here, right where that water line is, because it is flimsy and it may just roll out on us after we cut this. Not the end of the world, just a little more black top, but the water line will be exposed more there, and that was my big concern. Ah, just like that, we're hooking into it. We're hooking into it. And then we'll switch to a two foot bucket once we get up and out of it from that water line. See if it fits now. We're open, she fits. A lot of room down in there. Only needed an 8x8, but it is what it is. The tent actually gets us closer to the water line. And we easier that way. In, we're gonna pull it out hopefully and do a little more digging on the corners it's super tight we knew it would be we want it tight all right out oh. hitting the curving I'm a... all right let's get this thing set plate down in this front section of the doghouse that will make us safe to get down in the hole you can stay off the corner towards me a little bit you know lower that down in push her in get off that strap I don't want to hit the strap nice and nice we got this blocked off this is all shale that will t this our pipe is going to come out here our connection is going to be in here and we'll be up and out this will be taper up under 45 we're good to go
safely. But again, rather safe than sorry, use the back truck. We got him down within a foot of it and then exposed it, then, then kept bailing it out with the excavator, but it's coming along. Get these guys out of here and it's our show. All right, back truck is out of here. They can't do not much with the water line because we already have it exposed and it's all rock underneath. So this dirt, uh, I'm trying to think where, I'm trying to think where I want to go with this dirt, maybe over here now. We'll move it with the skids here if we got it. We'll get past the water line and switch buckets because we're gonna have to try to get I'm just like hopefully they just didn't carve a notch for the water line, which I know they did. We're gonna have to get a hammer either on the end of this machine or pound it out. With a different machine, huh? It's gonna be a nightmare. It just could never go the way you want it to go. Just simple and easy. First phase went good. Second phase, not so good. We'll see. We'll get back with you. We ain't never gonna get under that. We got two foot under that pipe. We did it with the Hilti. We got the Hilti power going. Had enough, made all that nice crusher run. Good to go. We used the bar, we didn't get in that hole. All right, here's our 54 inch step up right here. Perfectly safe, down to a 45. Under that waterline, two foot already carved and done. Got the 45 on there, we just tested it. It's gonna work, we're going down, cut the main live. Moving up, I got my marks. Right here, that four inch, so when the coupling comes back, we know we're there. We're cutting this thing 35 inches, the main, putting this in super fast. Coupling, coupling. There's our coupling there. Oh, that was funny. There's our marks, there's our stop marks. We're cutting this line, this line. Nice and straight meat, straight down, hang on.
No, the rubber mat. This mat? Yeah. We don't need that yet. I gotta bevel this. Why don't you pick this up? To get the mat. This is just to keep that from spraying on me. Oh yeah, Dirt Boss is here. Let's see if we got flow. Oh, she's flowing good. Look at that fit. Look at that fit. Hello! All right, this is our 45. Here's our 45 here. This, this is how I got my measurement. Boop, boop, boop. That's gonna go there. It's 32 inches there to there. That's gonna head us under that water line. Good to go. Good to go. I'm gonna cut a 32 on a six inch piece. All right, my 32 with my bevel. I got the bevel on the grinder on that one. It works real good. We're in, we're in. Now we're gonna put our 45 here. Oh. We're in. And we're gonna taper this up. Go right under that, just like that. Go right under that water line. We'll have 18 inches of clearance. Top of the pipe. Uh, All right, hang on. Watch that dirt. This is why you got a MacGyver stuff. Put that right in the hole. Right in the bottom of the hub and let that slide nice and easy. Easier. <laughs> now we'll get her in. Slide your thing back out. You All right, we got that 45 in. We used the stick and he just gave it a kick. She went right in. Now we got another 45 right to his feet and we're going back to the building. Under here perfectly, 18 inches as code required. Everything's hooked up here. Flow is flowing obviously. We got pitch here. Perfect, perfect pitch. Everything's working. We're good to go. We're gonna blow 1A stone in here. Inspection's on its way. Get 1A stone all the way up to this level here. Bada boom, bada bang. All right, all right. There's the top view. We're under there, perfect. Perfectly gonna land right here at our mark and then we'll stay 54 inches all the way. We got a 45 on the way. I was 145 short. Oh yeah, inspector was here. Oh, everything's inspected. To this point, he said perfection work. He can't believe what he sees in the field. I said, well, some guys just don't care. He goes, most guys don't care. <laughs> All right, make sure I'm staying in the center. You have a cut, let's get another 14. Hopefully we don't hit no rock. Hopefully we don't hit no gutter drains. I know those gutter drains are somewhere coming off this building down in. They shouldn't be this deep, but if we hit them, we'll repair them. I know it's still steel, so we should feel it before we break it. Especially if you pull and don't curl. If you pull like that, you'll jump up and over the pipe. You go with the curl with the teeth coming into it, curling it, good night. So if you run your teeth open, pull your stick back like that, you'll jump up and over it before you hurt it, most of the time. 
We gotta say 54 inches off the blacktop. I already shot great on this blacktop and it's 3%. We just double checked it with that pipe and it is. So as long as I'm 54 inches deep off that blacktop, follow that. We put a mark on the bucket. It's up with the thumb actually. And we're good to go. We will get this all the way to the building. Knock on wood today. Backfill with one A's in where the trench box is, up to the bottom of the trench box, and uh, tomorrow, compaction, get this thing all back up and lifts. Huge, huge, huge day for me today to get this much accomplished. A headache, I've been stressing about this project for a long time. We've been actually working on this project, engineer with the town for three months this was supposed to go in the summertime back in july just doing it now so we've been getting very lucky with weather a and getting lucky with uh weather let's just say that getting lucky with weather but i've been stressing about this one you know i typically Normally we don't do this. You guys who follow me see this. This is something that we can do and will do and get into. But uh, cutting a main open down in the sewers. Uh, I did it one time about 10 years ago and I had plumbers with me. They did it, I was just the excavator. But you do one, you, you can do a thousand. Just add it to the book. I like that trench box getting further and further away from me. That means we are getting close. Oh, so close. We are hitting rock though, but we're getting through it. We are hitting rock. Another stick going on. The Bobby. Wanna help want me help ya? You got the loop? There's a bar in the truck now that we have that. You just grab a bar and it'll pop right on. I'll stand on the other end of it. Get the flat bar.
let's hope we don't see a drain. found a treasure the, the foundation's block i was assuming it was poured i thought we were gonna have to rent a core drill and go through that now i can just do it with my chip and hammer money saved that's nice there's our rock head so we're about uh, we're close we're close four or five more inches we got this thing cooked with our four inch go right into the building nice and nice daddy's happy daddy is happy there we are we are at footing height perfect we're just gonna hit the two trenches together now getting safety off with some caution tape blocking the hole the deep part with the machines just put all those 1a's as you saw they work awesome to go around pipes they just trickle in just trickled right in all the way around there nice and nice it fills in as you go then a little jiggle jiggle once we get over the top of it with the with this stuff with the diesel attachment 8500 Hitting power, way better than a Whacker Packer. Whacker Packer only hits 3,000. I'll level that out in the morning, then we'll come on up as I come on up. Back on site. Got Crazy Carl today. Everything stayed good, no cave-ins. Uh, a little warmer today, so the piles are thawed out. Be perfect, we'll come up in lifts. We got plate tamper, we got the diesel equipment, plate tamper for the hoe. And a regular plate camper or jiggle jiggle the pea stone. Crazy Ollie's just told us the truck's coming tomorrow, 6 a.m., to put out 3,300 boxes when it was supposed to come Friday. But because of the holiday, they're coming early. We shut the road down regardless. Uh, is what it is. We're going to do our best to get that truck in. All right, just quick clip. We're coming up in eight inch lifts. And uh, packed, hey now, hey now, I'm packed in the hell out of it. This stuff could pack super good. Super, super good. The sun was in my eyes, I couldn't see that box there. It's probably in your eyes too. This is working out slick. We're coming up. You can see the line on our 
boards. These are eight inch increments. Each line you could use as a gauge. You can see the dark spot on that, how we came up. We come up eight inches, then we lift the, then we'll come up another 16, and then we'll lift the box, suck the box, box up as we come until we get safe to pull the box. But we're, we're lifting, lift the box. They're coming up, lift the box. as we can away from this hole as far as I can reach is it right at an angle like that? yeah I'm, I'm, I'm already I'm out of reach right now keep on moving it move your pile it's like concrete this stuff down there right now right over right where you gotta be I'm gonna weld I'm gonna make something I'm gonna weld a little plow on the front of this thing unbelievable all right that lift is in I'm gonna pull this plate we got this plate buried buried quite a bit we gotta try to pull it up out. It should suck up out. Come on, let me put my blade down. Hey! What do we got? Straight up. Straight. A little more. All right. There she comes. We got that thing buried over halfway. For safety, but that's what you do. Nice. Where you going? We're gonna go over to the other plate behind me. And she's down. All right, throw some more dirt in her. Oh, we got another lift taking place. Just massaging it where it's gotta be first. Get in your compaction lift specs. Definitely gonna put a little dozer blade on the front of this. Push it in under the curtain. Alright, this is the throw technique. You get it right to the back corner, a little bit here, and then bam! Look at that. Through that, through that 10 feet right there. You gotta let it, you gotta let a little off the off the load though, otherwise you will be in the hole. So you get your you get your load, watch out Carl! You get this like this, throw a little here, and then bam! Right up against the bank. Yeah, got crazy Carl knocking out that block work, punching a five-inch hole in there. Inspection just came, everything went good. What a hot setup this diesel. Uh, this is where it really shines. I'm so in love with it with trenching. Look at this thing. Just keep coming up in lifts. Trench, 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 trench. Bah, 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 bah. This stuff is rock hard. Rock hard. I'm telling you, you cannot beat it. We got this. We're going to hit this off. Fine tune it just one little bit more. But you cannot. You can try to jump up and down on this. You ain't going to even put a dent in it. Inspection went good. Uh, quick clarification because I know... There'll be some things. Oh, you didn't put no sword line tape in there. Tracer tape not required. Only on injection lines. I just confirmed that with the inspector. I know you would be all over me, Ryan. You know it. You'd say, oh, you didn't put that tape in there. But they didn't. it's not required. Only forced injection sewage, he says. 
so everything is pitching perfect and uh yeah we're gonna keep coming up in another lift everything's cleaned up over here as we're going we're gonna save the piece though in the top everything before black top tamp that all in the final hit looking with it cut your edges get it to where it's gotta go all right what a day what a day we got everything up and compacted in lifts we got this because that truck's coming tomorrow morning 6 a.m he'll go right across here they'll put their packages away we got our dog house open in the block it was all solid we got that chipped out we're gonna get reduced to a four here carl chipped, carl chipped it out crazy carl we got our reducer on here to a four comes here to a clean out going up in the building cap it off bada boom bada bing bada bing bada boom <laughs> all right Everything sitting nice and pretty, cleaned down, swept out. Back on site, got my own mobile back truck. Sucking this all out of the hole. This is the last part. We gotta do the clean out and just stub this in there. Working good. Let gravity work in its favor. It's all rock, which sucks, which isn't good. If it was sand, it would already be out, but it's coming. All right, clean out system, all done. Goes from schedule 40, then it got my, my uh, double-sided gasketed flange into six inch. That's the green and the blue. Schedule 40 with a clean out going up. You guys got the plumbing going in right now. We're good to go. I'm just gonna spray foam wall around that to keep that secure and good to go all right inspection just passed everything went great put a ballard covered over that just for snow plow purposes black top doesn't affect it uh that will help protect that in the future I'm gonna backfill now get this thing compacted and get the heck out of here i'll tell you i don't work much in this town with the sanitary but what a great group of guys this town is really, really, really good show. Good show. I appreciate it. Well, trench box all broke down, ready to go. The plates are staying on there because I'm waiting on blacktop. Uh, that would have been nice. Three days, boom, 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 done in and out. But uh, looks like maybe they'll be here. Who knows? But uh, I'm going to end this video. You guys don't need to see blacktop. Everything's I got one yard of dirt there and two yards of pea stone to pick up and clean up dust the parking lot off and this one's a success appreciate everybody i'm gonna upload this for you just so you we can all see each other on thanksgiving happy thanksgiving guys